Good morning. I'm going to get myself adjusted and we'll get started on, well, we'll continue on building the Daily Bugle. I believe this will be video 10. Let me verify. Well, I see a 10, so that's probably right. Couple bags. And two bags today. Slide that in there. building instructions. Don't think I'll need this. I'll need this. Like that. And I see window pieces, so guess what we're doing today? Probably windows. Alrighty. Here's where we're at. Bring this down. It's starting to get a little high, so I bring it down more gently. We are on on floor three. Wow, you really can't see it. I'm gonna have to back up the camera a little bit more now. We're on this level right now. So I'll pop that off. Like that, and we will continue. Last time, we were working on level uh, floor three, the third level. All we did is what what you see here: flooring. Added the elevator. Added the fire escape, and that's it. Oh, and then the door that exits to a balcony on this side, on the third floor. Okay. Let's put these right here. I feel like I'm forgetting something. When I come into work, I usually go through a list of things to just kind of, op not open the place, but get it ready for the day. And I... Oh, I know what I need to do. I need to send out, send out the vacuum. Had to charge overnight because we had a big, big like gathering. Uh, give me just a moment. If you don't have a iRobot, a Roomba, they're pretty cool. Uh, let's just do. Do that, and off she goes. Oh. Oh. Whoop! There's an error. Well, I'll just leave it. Maybe it's thinking. First, okay, we're going. First, we open the bag. Maybe I will use this. This thing that I put off to the side. We'll just do this for the window pieces. Oh, there she goes. I hear her. There we go. Window and column pieces. That's all that's in here. And so, I'm going to put that in here on that side. And the little pieces right here.
Er, character is always first, so we'll need a head, a jacket, pants, a bag. Oh, a bag. And hair. There we go. <clears throat> Let's put the hair on. <clears throat> on the neck. You know who this looks like. I have another one of these. Um, oh, I gotta pull his head back off because I gotta put on the on the bag. The Merce, the man purse. Come on, get on there. There we go. I'll put his head back on. You know who he looks like? I think they just reuse character pieces. Is um, if you've ever played uh, Lego Dimensions, um, one of the characters that you can get is Marty McFly, and it looks like they used, reused um, some of those. Maybe not. I mean, that's that's who he looks like to me. I mean, but let's find out who he really is. He is, <laughs> it's Peter Parker. So it's not Marty McFly, it's Peter Parker. Okay, so that's what Peter Parker looks like as a Lego. So, we're starting to build, I'm not using this yet. I'll set him over there by, Grabbing one of these, and then one of the window pieces that fits inside. I'm hoping it's just in these teeny ones, rather in with rather than in with the other windows. What size do I need? It needs to be square, of course. I see these long ones. I see a few of these longer ones. Those aren't going to fit in that small spot. And it's also clear, so I might have thrown it out looking at the bags. And it's still in one of these bags. I always like to look at them before I throw them out just in case. But since it's clear, it might have looked like part of the bag. I don't see it. Oh, this is a bad start. <clears throat> okay, let's look at the actual windows here. The... No. It's got to be here. And there it is. Shake it out a little bit more. There we go. And that'll just fit inside here. To create that window. Okay, we need two of these. There's the other one. And two, two of, no, one of these. These go on top. And that goes on the bottom. Straightening them out. And that's what we got so far. Okay, now we need. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's morning. Let me take a. Get, get the morning phlegm out. By drinking milk. That's usually not how it works. Okay, I do know we need one of these pieces. Uh, and then one of these. And they just go on top, so... This one goes here. On this side. And then this one hangs over.
this side. Okay. Now I need one of these. These little. And I think they're called cheese half slope. A white one. There it is. And. <clears throat> Sorry, it's not that. I have one of these um, street drains. Okay, that goes right on the front of here, like this. And this goes with the back side, so like this on, on this side. I wonder what we're creating. Okay, let's see. And we need one of those. <clears throat> it's not as sunny as it was yesterday. Yesterday the sun was glaring in. It was great. Um, still a great day. It's just cloudy. one of these and one of these and then uh, so I put this here on this end and then this goes right next to it okay and it goes on the back side Ooh, I know what we're making I accidentally looked ahead I know what we're making <clears throat> so just one on the back so you can just see through this window the um, flat piece that we put on. And now we need one of those. One of these. And one of these. And with that we put this piece under here. And we actually need two of these, so, yeah. And then they go on either side with the slope in front here. I'm assuming that's the front, yeah. And then, so this lays like this. And then this goes in here. Goes up like that. Can you guess what it is? It's a copy machine. That's pretty neat. And that goes right here. Copy machine. Cool. Okay, now. <laughs> I'm going to do it again, excuse me. <clears throat> okay. Now, um, we need a newspaper. Oh, newspapers are... Unless we already... Oh, well, that, that's not it. Newspapers are... Just, they were had the, a bag of their, their own. That's not it. Oops, excuse me. There we go. Might as well bring this out because... Wait a second, what is this? Oh. Sorry, got distracted. Uh, these are all the characters we've built so far. And then the, the newspapers. Um, it has to say, The Conspirator. And it shows, it's really, really small. It shows a picture of a UFO beaming up a cow. That's... I don't think you'll be able to see it. I'll try it again, and then it'll probably go out of focus. Mm. Hopefully you can see it. That We need that piece. We need two of these. One of the these. Two of these. 
one of these and two of these. these I'm going to build like that and then this leans on here hang on a second I guess yeah just just kind of man they're messy at this this new station they just like to stack things askew it's a couple of file boxes or, or uh, I see, it's supposed to be little cardboard boxes stacked on top of each other. And the reason there's two there is, you know, you open a cardboard box like that. And these go right, right here. So hang on, let me see, I'm trying to get it just like the, no, that's not right. Just like the picture, I'm trying to get it. So it must go like that. That doesn't make sense. That's too centered for what they have pictured. No, that's not right. Ah, here we go. So, like that. And then this is like like that. Excuse me a moment. I, for, I, I realized what I needed to do um, in opening up here. We're just getting ready for the day. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. <clears throat> and we left off of the cardboard boxes. Now we just make a stack of newspapers. And they all... They all are just stacked on top of each other, all crazy-like. So that one goes like that, with this going like that. Even though they are randomly in place, I do like it to look like the instructions, what they put here. Yeah. Is that the vacuum? Uh, somebody was at the door and uh, just got to talking to them for a bit. So I probably am going to have to figure out how much of this I'm going to have to cut out, but I forgot to hit stop record when I went to do that. Okay, the stack of papers. I was lining those up, and I think I just finished. Just a little stack, and they go in the back. Oh, right at the exit, of course. Blocking the exit. Well, it's not really a fire exit. It's more of a... Yeah. Yeah, they're blocking the exit. So it goes like this. No? It goes like... And they're right in the way, blocking that exit. Nobody goes out there then. <laughs> That's what it says in the book. Okay. I gotta stop saying okay. Okay. I'm gonna need some drawers, four of them. For those drawers, one of those, one of one camera, minifigure camera. I'm trying to get the lighting so you can see it. A pizza box, one clear flat stud. One 
of these, one of these, excuse me, one of these, and then two dressers to hold the drawers. There's one. And there's the other one. <clears throat> so I'm going to start by, whoops, there's a piece in there we don't need. I'm going to start by putting these drawers in this dresser. Dressers. And, and they go on top of each other. These are probably going to be file cabinets. And then this goes here. This goes here. And at the back we have this piece. Now, okay, this is a this piece is to extend this camera. Make it a bigger camera. There's no real way to do it. I'll just set it down. Nope. Yeah, anyways. And then this clear flat goes on the end for the lens. Come on, get on there. <clears throat> so, this sits right back here, like that, and the pizza box, so they, they're touching greasy pizza while they touch their camera, oh, and of course it hangs over because they're not tidy here, it's the least tidy modular. And then this goes right here. Like that. Okay. So they really don't use that exit. They've blocked it. That's a fire hazard or a fire, what do you call it, when the fire department comes in and goes, checks make sure all your exits are clear and stuff, whatever that is. All right, so we're building a wall, starting with this piece. Ooh, finally. The vacuuming is done. Then we add another piece. And what do you know? We add another piece. And then <clears throat> we add uh, another, not the same piece, but one of these. And then we need that piece which goes right next to it. I don't know why it double beeps. Sorry, talk to myself. And then another one of these. And then we need hmm. I would assume it would be with these. All it is is a flat two-piece. These are the ledge pieces. I'm not looking for ledge. Ah, there it is. It's sticking on its side. Need that piece. And so now it's all lined up when I put that there. <clears throat> Man, excuse me. I am phlegmy today. Another one of these pieces on top. Like that. And right here, I'm going to make... I'm going to use one, two of those, and then 
one, two of those. The difference is, if you can't see, it's flat on top. These have the buttons poking up. And then two of these. So I'm going to place that one there and that one there. This one here and this one here. So what this is is a is supposed to be a mini cork board, I believe. A mini cork board or some sort of thing where they put their notes because these two pieces right here look I mean what it looks like to me is these are sticky notes. Uh, or or notes pinned to a cork board. Oh, that's a pretty nice piece. There's no. Wow, I like the way they did that. There's nothing on the side. It's hidden in the middle. You might know what I'm talking about. You might not. But I like the pieces to not have that little break off mark on the edge. And it's usually with every flat piece. Okay, there's that. And we have to put them just like, just like in, in the instructions, askew. So that's, that's what it is right there. I'm assuming, so I'm, so I'm assuming that these are either sticky notes or, or, or notes pinned to some sort of cork board of some kind. And that goes right behind this file cabinet right up against here. Okay. Okay. There I go again. Okay. A door frame with no door. And it goes like this. Interesting, because this box is in the way. Wait, what? Yeah. It goes like this. I can put this box back on. Should still hang over. So, really, nobody goes through this door. This door is blocked. That door is blocked crazy. I need more light in here. Oh, my computer wasn't, screen wasn't blocking the light. Hmm. And then, um, I need this and one of these, and all this, 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 this piece just goes right on top. And then we have a the rest of the wall. So I wonder what room would be here that nobody would go in. We're building a wall. So let's start with this piece. And then another the same, a single, and a double. And the double, or the single goes first. Double, and then this piece here, like that. <coughs> okay, and then single and double and we're just completing the bottom part of this wall okay this might be good for me to try to catch myself before I say it okay because I wonder how many times I do that in real life and people are going, John, 
If you say okay one more time, I'm gonna punch you in the face. But they don't actually. They just think it in their mind. So let's see how many times I can catch myself and not do it. Do this. Do this. And thing. We're just kind of going back and forth. The same op opposite of each other. Opposite, opposite. That way it makes for a sturdy wall. Okay, we're going to do it again. But this time, we're gonna, they're going to throw you off. There's the pieces that we used. Instead of doing that double piece, we're doing a flat one that goes in here. So, so it doesn't go all the way up. Oh, because we're throwing in this piece. Something's not right here. This doesn't match. It's not the right color. That's the right color, right there. Sometimes, with the colors being really close together, I will put them in the wrong place because of my color blindness. But this seems like I wouldn't mess that one up. It's it's that. I want to say green piece, but you might say it's not. It just seems gray, and it seems green. I need one of these, but that color. And the only other place I used one of these was right here, and it matches. What's going on? This doesn't seem like a piece that would be too hard to find. I hate it when I waste time looking for one piece. Oh, you know what? It is this one. In the book, the colors, they probably look the same to you, but in the book, the colors look identical to me. I have to look at it real hard, so I have the piece all along. Ugh, John. And this is why I don't paint. True, true story. This is why I don't paint. Because, or touch up paint, because I went around the business once with the job of touching up paint in each and every room. And then apparently, as the boss went through and started looking at my job, he, he pointed out that every color, most every color that I used, didn't even match. And it looked exactly identical to me. And he thought I was doing it for fun. I think he thought I was doing it to be funny. Um, but I, I was being serious. I, I painted it, all, all these little marks on the walls and things. And, and he walks and he goes, you think that's white? That's green. And I didn't see it. So... He hired somebody else to fix what I did. Real true story. That's the wall. Now, we add, we need this piece and a sticker. A sticker, sticker time. Got it, and I'll show you in just a second. We're getting down to those stickers. Okay. 
it is a picture of Spider-Man. And that goes right here. Now I add a chair, and that chair goes right here. And guess what? It does line up this time. It's not turned to the right or the left. Now I need four pieces of those. Uh, no, I need eight pieces of those. Four, five, six, seven, eight. What I need is four of these. Just them together. There, now they're at four. Straighten them out. And they go in these spots right here. And there we go. Oh, before I put the chair down, I'm supposed to put one of these pieces underneath. And I should have known that because uh, down in level, well, on level ones and level two, they asked for that. And the reason is you can, it looks like a, I think it's a swivel chair of some kind, but this one's not gonna swivel to the side, it's gonna be straight on. Nice. Right to the side. And one of these. A yellow. A yellow piece. That one's easy to find because it's the only yellow in, in this, these, this bag. And two of these. Remember these corner pieces that we use for the columns. Sometimes. So this goes on here. That goes here, and that goes here. So it looks like this. Okay. And then we add one of these to the front. We we'll need two of these. Not nine o'clock or anything. Oh no. Not not close yet. And then one of these. So the this one goes right on the front, and these two on the side. Like that. And it slides right in here. that. Let's move Peter Parker and put him with the rest of the minifigures. So we need this, one of these, one of these, and one of these. It's a textastrophe. It's a group text. Let me uh, let me shut those off because it's it's probably going to keep going. So uh, there we go. Wait. All I need to do is the. Anyway, okay, seems like I just turned the volume down rather than the notifications, but we'll, we'll 
hopefully that'll work so it doesn't beep 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 all the time okay this long one goes right on the front here and this piece goes goes on the side and uh, this piece goes here and this piece goes here and we've created a desk seems uh, a desk of some kind with a chair behind it usually a desk usually a chair then extra large telephone and a pinchy piece and then like this that pinchy piece goes on the desk and the phone goes on that pinchy piece There we go. Yes. There we go. Telephone on a desk to a room that nobody can get to because there are boxes in the way. And we're not done with that page because we'll need one of these it's got to be in here no maybe not one of these and one of these and this one goes here this one this three three length one I wonder if, if these are referred to by how many buttons uh, w underneath or on top so for example I wonder if this is a one by one and then there's a name for the shape and the one that I just put on would have been a three by one with a flat, smooth top. And this would be a four by one. I wonder if they refer to them that way. Maybe I'll have the answer next time. Maybe if I don't forget, which I usually do. And by the way, I put this in the wrong spot. This flat three by one. It actually goes right here because that piece goes right here. Then we have some columns. We need one of these. Yeah, see, like one by one, tall. One by one, taller. There's got to be a name for the shape if they go by the the the, the how many buttons are sticking out. This goes here. This goes here. And we'll just push that off to the side and build another wall. Starting with this long piece. Then we add a four. Then a one, a two, actually there's another one that we need with that little button sticking out and it goes right here. Probably be easier to put that on before I put this, this one on. Over here, oh here's where we use these longer window pieces two of those and two oops let's throw it 
two of these, which they go into. There we go, some longer windows. And they go with the glass facing, or the glass on this side. And the empty space back here. Then we put this piece here to level it out. It's a four. And uh, I need a piece that's the same length here, but it's going to hang over on the window side because we need this weird piece. To go like this. Okay. Then for the same length piece, we make that right there with the rest of them. Okay. Then we add this above the door frame here. Ooh. Some of these pieces are wobbly because they're not fully connected yet. We're going to put it along here. The window, well, this, let's go by this piece. This, this piece right here on the end is going to go closest to the front. So we just pop it on the top here. And that also, that piece hanging over, uh, completed that column. Now they're, they're the same height here. Okay, there's another okay. I probably said quite a few more, I didn't even know. Columns. Do you remember these columns? We're gonna need 24 of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. We need, well first let's do this, this corner column. We know that goes back and forth, six high. So it'll be like this, deep, 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 deep. Ooh, that's that's a good sound effect. D D D D. See, I thought I turned that off. But all I did was turn the volume down. Well, we're gonna have to deal with it. Next time I won't won't that have that around. One, two, three, four. See, I'm already doing it wrong. Four. Five, six. All right, that's the corner column piece. We we'll might as well put that on right now. Like that. Now, we make three more columns. But they're all all the buttons are gonna line up. Like that. And there's one. There's two. three and these columns we'll just line them up with these buttons here one goes there one goes there and 
one goes there. Okay, let's see. Window time. And instead of counting out 40 of these pieces, I'm gonna assume, since all we have are those pieces in here, that that's 40. So I'm not gonna count those out. We do need 16 of these, and you know what? Most of in here are those pieces, so I'm not gonna count those out either. What I am gonna count out is the finished product which is going to be ledge piece on the bottom, each finished product of how many we need. You, you'll understand what, what I mean when, when I just finish this right now. It's only gonna go five high. And then a ledge piece on top. Okay, this is what I mean by the final product. We need with all those the 40 window pieces and the 16 ledge pieces we're going to make eight of these so that's what i'm going to do so i'm just going to make start going let's just start making making them See what it, I pressed a little too hard. Hopefully that didn't damage anything. I press a little too hard sometimes. So we're at four. I need four more. Six. Seven. One. One more. I think one more. We do have leftover window pieces. Maybe I counted wrong. A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. some leftover pieces so let's start over here next to the fire escape and now I'm pressing these a little bit more gently in because they don't have any support like they do when they're laying down.
probably have extra window pieces because we still have two places here on the side that we need to fill in. Right. There we go. Windows are in place. Let's get away from windows for a minute. Nope. Let's go back to windows. We need... Two of these. Ledge, four high, that's it. So only two of those. Up and now we're using up the window pieces. We're done with that. Done with that box. We still have a few more in here, bigger pieces. And those go right where I pointed out where we needed some more. the windows. Now, we're making a window piece on either side a little differently. We need, well, two ledge pieces. And so these, if you can see them, they're a button piece, clear button piece. We need two of those. We need two of these. Four of these. They're clear square single studs. And then two of these, which are square single studs without the button on top. They're flat. I hope you can see that with all the clearness. This ledge goes on top, then we create, with this piece, we take one, two of those square pieces, and then we, we finish it with this uh, single square piece that's flat. I really hope you can see that, or maybe it just doesn't matter to you. And that goes right on the bottom. Like that. So we're making two of these. Hmm. Two of these. Just with an, the ledge on the opposite side. So I'm just going to do that again. Actually, I'll put the ledge on last. That way I can just do opposite. I didn't check this piece, but yeah, I did that wrong. No, not I didn't do it wrong. I'm just trying to cover up that 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 annoying little mark that I'm always talking about. There we go. That goes right there. That should line up. So if that goes like that, then this goes like this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're opposite of each other. And we need this open space on the back of that single to be outward. Let me see if I can explain better by showing you. The book shows a little bit better. This is what we're creating. We're creating two of these. And that little space in the back goes out. So this one goes here. Okay, one goes there. This one goes here. And I bet that empty space is going to hold the front on when we build that. Now, we're gonna finish this off today by taking these wobbly pieces and making them um, solid. 
two of those. Two of those. Two of, no, yeah, two of those. And one of these. And two of these. These long ones, they're a little longer than that. Let's just say there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten by one. And this is an eight by one. The ten by ones seem to go right here. So that tells you how far that piece is leaning back. There we go. And the other one goes on the opposite side. Come on, get in there. And then these pieces line these up. So this might be just a moment. Oh, maybe not. Come on, you can do it. That's lined up. There we go. There we go. And still, I don't want to press down too hard because they still bow out a bit. Let's see. Nope. It's still wobbly. They're a little bit more sturdy as we do this, but they're still wobbly enough to, to not press down hard. Whew, it's hard lining them up. Now these, well first of all, these go right in the corner, these singles, one there, and one there, that seems a little bit low, no, no that's fine, okay, and then this goes here, Right. This one goes right up and against it. This last piece goes right here in the back to hold majority of them together. Now, there's still, you know, wobbly pieces in places, but I believe next time we will fix that. Right now, we just have... I only have two of these. Did I miss something? I always get nervous when there's two extra, but you know what? There's always extra. The, yeah, those are, oh, I've got two extra of those. And this is, we're done today. Those are extra pieces. So next time it looks like we're going to do the front and, and complete the top of this to make it a lot more sturdy. So today, we created, well, we made Peter Parker, who I confused for uh, Marty McFly. We created a little... Um, not fax machine, but a little copier. Some boxes in the way of this door. A file cabinet, oh it's hard to see, a file cabinet with a camera on top and also a pizza box. 
Then there's a stack of papers. Better way to see it is at the back of this exit. If I open up, sitting on the floor there, blocking the exit. We created this room with the desk, the phone, the chair, picture of Spider-Man, and this reminder board with sticky notes or notes pinned to the wall or pinned to it. And then we created windows, windows, and more windows. So, ta-da! That's what we've done today. Now time to put away. Actually, you don't need to see me put away stuff. We'll see you next time. Later, Gator.